artistic director and conductor of your Dayton Philharmonic Orchestra, and this is Piano Bench Chat number 15, I think it is. Yikes, this has been going on a long time. So long that you might notice that the Bach Well-Tempered Clavier on my piano desk is closed. That's because a couple of days ago was day 96 of shutdown here in Ohio, which means I got to the very end of the 48 Preludes and Fugues uh, by Johann Sebastian Bach, and then I turned to other music of Bach. I decided to go for something easier. So I pulled Bach's notebook for Anna Magdalena Bach off the shelf, and I'm on the second piece, the Minuet in G, a rather famous piece, so famous uh, that it was even adapted into a pop song. Many of you probably know that, uh, Lover's Concerto by The Toys. But I wanted to share with you one of the great frustrations of a life in classical music, and no, I am not for once talking about COVID-19. In the world of music, of course, there are performers, there are conductors, there are all kinds of people, composers, naturally. Um, there's a particular breed of folks in the music world called musicologists. And these are the people who study music, study its history, study its techniques. And musicologists are sometimes the killjoys of the classical world because they discover things that maybe we don't want to know. Now, a perfect example is when they find out that a piece of music that we thought was by someone is actually by someone else. The piece I played you, the famous Minuet in G by Bach from the notebook for Anna Magdalena Bach. Now this is a piece that I've known for as long as I've known music. It's one of the first pieces I ever heard, one of the first pieces I ever played when I was a kid, because it's a piece of kids music. Bach created the notebook for Anna Magdalena Bach as a notebook for his daughter of pieces that she could play while she was learning how to play the keyboard. So it's this entire manuscript of pieces, all in Bach's handwriting. Well, the musicologist discovered or figured out that not all of the pieces in the notebook for Anna Magdalena Bach were by Johann Sebastian Bach. They may have been written by Bach in his own handwriting, but some of them were by other composers and he just copied them into the book so Anna Magdalena could play them. And I discovered this morning when I opened up the Minuet in G, there you see Christian Petzold is the name of the composer. I find that very disappointing. I'm just gonna pretend it's by Bach. But here's something I don't find disappointing. This week on Friday, the 26th of June, will be the debut of Dayton Performing Arts Alliance Summer Streams. You've heard me talking about it uh, for the last couple of uh, chats. It is a series of nine programs available for internet streaming, available free for internet streaming. Uh, throughout the summer, they'll be released and gradually one by one. And they are a mix of archival performances that have been adapted for the streaming format and also some new performances that are being filmed uh, by our friends at Think TV and produced into really cool performances by ensembles from the Dayton Performing Arts Alliance. Musicians from the Philharmonic, singer from Dayton Opera, and dancers from Dayton Ballet. It's really fabulous stuff, and you will start seeing it in just 
a couple of days. The first summer stream is an archival recreation of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony as performed by Dayton Philharmonic, Dayton Ballet, and Dayton Opera in September of 2016, reimagined as a multimedia event for streaming at home. It's really very cool and I hope you'll enjoy it and I hope this will be yet another way that we can bring some music and joy and beauty into your lives. Uh, we don't really know what's going on with the, the virus situation. It looks like sometimes maybe things are getting a little bit worse out there virus-wise, but if you stay home and stay safe, we will keep getting more and more great performances to you so you can enjoy the artistry of your Dayton Performing Arts Alliance artists in your own home. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane, stay kind, and stay with us.